It was funny at first. It was fun. I liked how fun it was. I liked how he came on. I'm talking about Dan Campbell and the Detroit Lions. I talked. I liked how he came on. He showed a lot of leadership. Hey, I'm trying to right the ship here. I'm not just gonna be an. I'm not gonna be that that guy. He he didn't want to be the 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 coach that was given to so many wins and wanting to you know make a Super Bowl or whatever. I'm over it. I'm over it. No, I mean you've had multiple chances, multiple games. It's not working. I don't see it working. I don't see how it works. Excuse me. Um, well, I don't know what Lions player personnel is doing. We can't get another. Who is who is who is Tim Boyle? Is it Tim Boyle? Why is he calling himself TB12? Get off the field, bro. Matt, take the jersey off. Get out the NFL. Who let you in the league? One of the worst stat lines I've ever seen from a college perspective. And you, he's like, bro, I, I mean, I got negative yards, but if you let me play, <laughs> get off the team. Get out. Take the jersey off. Burn it. I, I Like, man, what are you doing, bro? Man can't throw the ball five yards. If he does, it's an interception because, hey, I messed up on the play. And it got to a point where Dan Campbell was just like, bro, I just got to run the ball. Not only that, where is David Blau? Where is David Blau? Yeah, I mean, at first I defended him. I'm really past it now. Like, I'm not, this don't work for me. Uh, I'm not. Through and through, heartfelt Lions fan, this is terrible, bro. This is the worst case scenario. I thought they would at least, all right, we'll battle in a few games. You know it's you know it's gonna be bad, but you got but we're working towards the future anyway. This is worst case. Players are quitting for players are quitting. Then then you keep plugging and playing new players that ain't even that have never seen the football field. So I mean, what you doing, bro? I mean, you would, all you can do now is hope that Swift and Hawkinson and Sewell and all these other players that when the Lions go 0-16 and 1, that they still with this team after. Because I don't, like, after they go 0-16 and 1, they're probably going to fire the coach and they got to bring everybody back and get the, get the roster squared away. Uh, these players might be like, no, nah, man, I don't want to stick with this. This don't work for me. This don't work for my money. This don't work for my future. This don't work for me. And at that point, I wouldn't blame them. Swift and Hawkinson, two young players, look like really good studs in the NFL. Hawkins is a great blocker. He can also catch and run. Swift is an excellent running back. You got no quarterback for him. Gave up Stafford for Jared Goff. Golf can't throw a yard, and then you don't even put in David Blau. You put in Tim Boyle. I don't know. I don't know what y'all trying to do. I don't know what this is anymore. Then you got Dan Campbell up here calling plays. All he doing is running the ball. Like five, six, seven yards. We need fourteen. Hey, running with Swift again. Like, bro, what is you doing? It's just, it's just a mess, dog. And they tanking. It's a mess and y'all tanking. Y'all making sure that the Lions don't have any hope for next season. It's a mess. Plain and simple. It's a hot mess. If I'm thanks, if I'm fans, for, if I'm Lions fans this week, don't even show. Matter of fact, if you do show, get that sell the team flag. Because this is a mess, dog. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm not even watching the game on Thursday. Y'all are 9 and one. You think I'm gonna watch that? No, bro. They gonna get the one touchdown like they always do and make it close and still lose to Andy Dalton and Matt Nagy. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Or it's gonna be a blowout because we just can't hold the, the Bears offense. Like, what is that? What is that, bro? That don't make no sense. You go 0 16 and 1, you don't deserve to be a coach next year. And that's 
Come on, man. That's crazy that that would even be a possibility. But if you go 0-16-1, you don't deserve to be a coach next season. And that's on ownership, period. That's on the Ford family, sports logic.